Hi, I'm Frank Kimura, chef and owner at Movida, and also a big supporter of the great work done by the team at Fair Share. Kitchen volunteers at Fair Share are the lifeblood of the organisation. They help out in the kitchen, sorting, chopping, cutting, mixing and baking the food we prepare for those who need it most. We want all our volunteers to have a rewarding and enjoyable experience and to do that we need to provide all our volunteers and visitors to our kitchen with a safe working environment at all times. As a result, your safety and that of your co-workers is very important to us. That's why we ask you to follow a few simple guidelines we'll be outlining in this video. The first is to do with your own health. The most common illnesses such as coughs, colds or flu can provide a significant health risk to not only other volunteers but also the people for whom the food is being prepared. So if you're not feeling well, even if you have just a cough or cold, then you must not volunteer in our kitchen until all your symptoms have disappeared. We know our volunteers are highly motivated and dedicated, however, soldiering on, it's just not the correct mantra in our kitchen. Remember, you're not letting us down in these circumstances, it's just when it comes to our food preparation areas, we must always ensure a clean and bacteria-free environment. If you're unable to come in for your shift because of illness or otherwise, we just ask you to contact the office via email or phone. Number two, personal protective equipment, suitable work gear. In the fair share kitchen, like any other commercial kitchen, we require you to be appropriately dressed. So what does that mean? Well, it's pretty simple. First and foremost is an apron, and we ask you to wear a clean apron at all times when you're in the kitchen. Next is your hair. Please wear a cap, hat or hairnet at all times to cover your hair. If it is long, please ensure your hair is tied back and off your face. Shoes. Please wear sturdy, closed-in, flat, comfortable shoes in the kitchen. These can be work boots, kitchen clogs, runners or sneakers. Open-toed shoes, sandals or ballet shoes are not suitable for a commercial kitchen. Finally, please make sure your top is either long or short sleeves. This can be a shirt, t-shirt or jumper. Just no singlet tops in the kitchen, please. If you have any valuables or personal items with you, you can store them safely in the lockers provided. Okay guys, this bit is very important because it's time to talk about sanitation in the kitchen. Basically, this is all about the importance of washing your hands and wearing gloves. And the sanitation protocol starts before beginning a shift. Before you start a shift, ensure you wash your hands with soap, rinse and then dry them thoroughly. Make sure you also apply gel sanitizer to your hands and allow them to dry. Remember this sanitation protocol must be repeated when changing tasks, after a toilet break, after returning from a break or even after using your mobile phone or electronic device. Gloves are also essential for most tasks in the kitchen and it's also important to change gloves between different tasks. Please note also that if there are any tasks that do not require gloves, then this will be explained to you by your supervisor. Four, safety in the kitchen. There are a few points you need to remember in regard to safety in the kitchen. First, eating in our kitchen is not permitted. You can take in drinks that are in closed plastic containers, but please, no glass or ceramics. Also, make sure you do not use any kitchen equipment, tools or chemicals unless you have been trained to do so and your supervisor asks you specifically to use them. It's essential you follow reasonable work, health and safety procedures and that means always following instructions given by your supervisor. If you're in any doubt about any safety procedures in the kitchen, please just ask your supervisor. Number five, potential hazards in the kitchen. There are some potential hazards in commercial kitchens, so please try and be aware of what's going on around you. To minimise your exposure to any potential hazards, we ask you to remember the following at all times. Number one, no running in the kitchen. Number two, do not lift anything that is too heavy for you. Ask someone to assist you if necessary. Number three, wet spills need to be cleaned up immediately. If necessary, ask for help from your supervisor or others to ensure this happens. Number four, do not leave any objects on the floor. And finally, if you're concerned that something is hazardous to food production or to individuals in the kitchen, or indeed if you hurt yourself in any way, please tell your supervisor immediately. Six, knife etiquette. There are a few things you need to know and remember when working with knives in a commercial kitchen. First, never wave a knife around or point a knife at anyone. 
If you have to carry a knife, always ensure it's pointing to the ground next to your thigh with the blade facing behind you. Number three, never submerge knives in the full sink or container in the dishwashing area. And finally, always lay knives on the bench in a visible area or store them in a designated knife drawer, not in utensil containers. Number seven, cleaning. After each task and when your shift ends, please clean down your bench using the appropriate cleaning materials as instructed by your supervisor. Number eight, evacuation and emergency exit. In the very unlikely event of an emergency, such as a fire, our kitchen is equipped with fire blankets and extinguishers. If you do need to evacuate the building for any reason, please note there are three exits, clearly marked with green exit signs. One is out the front door of our building, the second is out the back of the kitchen leading into the back laneway, and the third exit is at the side of the warehouse leading into the front car park in South Audley Street. Okay, so let's take a look at a summary of what we've discussed. Number one, if you're feeling sick, you will be unable to volunteer in our kitchen. Please contact the office via email or phone to let us know. Two, please bring a clean apron and a hat to wear in the kitchen. Number three, you can store any valuables or other personal items in the lockers provided. Number four, always ensure correct sanitation procedures are followed in regard to your hands, hats and clothes, like your apron when entering the kitchen. Number five, always follow safety and other procedures and your supervisor's instructions when in our kitchen. Number six, if you're in any doubt about any of the above, just ask your supervisor. Okay, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and for volunteering with Fair Share. Your help in the kitchen helps us to provide free, tasty and nutritious food to many people in need. We look forward to seeing you in the kitchen soon.